The pressure is on and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Comprehensive coverage coming right up live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me and excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Germany against Denmark. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Pierre Emil Hoybier in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. So Germany get the tournament underway on home soil. Scotland their first opponents, then Hungary and Switzerland. And Julian Nagelsmann, this young tactical innovator, is the man Germany are pinning their hopes on, Stuart. Well, he is, but he's got a very difficult job at the moment because Germany haven't played well in the run-up. To... Can he put it away? Really good piece of goalkeeping there. And it's gone behind for the corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? A strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Denmark giving it away. Kimmich. Eriksson. To shoot, stopped a certain goal. Gundogan. The fans want to see a shot. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Oh, great defending. Havertz on to Gundogan. This attack looks highly promising. Gundogan. Now the cut back. Course. And the flag does go up offside. Florian Wirtz. Good move in the making from Germany. And whipped into the box. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul. And now you would anticipate a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. It needs an accurate cross. Good strength to keep the ball. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here.
It's a short one. Beards. Timely intervention. Shielding the ball superbly. Jonas Vint. Well, the attack looks promising. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. It did look on for them, but not to be. Tony Kors. Jonas Vint. Very quick thinking there. Musiala. Javier. Could be dangerous. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Disappointing for Germany to give it away in that fashion. Christian Nurgard and crossed in there. And you need your defender to take charge. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. And over it comes, and a corner there that really lacked guile. And slipped through by Ilkay Gundogan. Havertz! Oh, magical piece of goalkeeping! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions, it really is. Sending it in. Can they slot it home? And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Heubier. Rasmus Heulun. Just the challenge that was required. A real opening now. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing and now they sense victory. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And Havertz's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Eriksen lost possession.
Ta. This is Kroos. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, a really dominant performance so far from Kai Havertz. Not that that comes as a huge surprise. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Nice weight on the pass. It could be for Ericsson. Oh, good save. Gundogan. And it's with Mittelstedt. Possession one, and he has options available. Havertz. Feeding it through. Kimmy. Gundogan, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. But he's gone short with it. Kimmy. Textbook defending inside the box. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Ericsson. Trying his luck. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Corner awarded. Played over. Keeper did his job to begin with. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Florian Wirtz. This is Kroos. And return to Kroos. And it's opening up. Oh, good work by the keeper. Going short. Florian Wirtz. Teammate available. Crucial piece of defending. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Ericsson. 
Well, the keeper wasn't worried in the slightest. And they're making a change. Gundogan. A matter of keeping his composure. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Tony Kroos. Commitment to passing and attacking. Gundogan. But the danger averted for now. Skov Olsen. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Real chance. And saved by the keeper. And time for the change now. Well, a short corner here. They're using the space really well, but now can they push on? And let's give credit to the defending. Schlotterbeck. Rüdiger. Good piece of closing down. And Havertz. Havertz. Electing to cross into the centre. And a goal! Using his head in more ways than one to help the goal. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. And on with the action. Germany really beginning to flex their muscles. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. Pavier. This looks promising. And in the right position to read it. Tony Kors. Now with Havertz. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Pabier. 
Hoylund. And he stopped them in their tracks. And just five minutes remaining. Chance here. Determined defending. Joshua Kimmich. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. But just like that, possession changes hands. A room to roam on the wing. Might be a chance here. Wonderful goalkeeping from Manuel Neuer. That's a good-looking ball. Can they keep it out? Well, that's a sad end to the attack. Andri. And the final whistle, the big story here, Germany have prevailed. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.